program flow chart represents a single program debugging means to run your code step by step in a debugging tool like graphical representation of an algorithm is called as flow chart so flow chart can be classified into program flow chart and system flow chart the direction of the processing or data flow for representing the, so larger of two numbers so here first step is this is an algorithm and this is a flow chart hello everyone i am shweta computer science faculty vidyashram college mysore in my last session i have discussed about algorithm and examples of algorithm so what do you mean by an algorithm algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve a particular problem so you have to use some steps for executing the problems so today i am going to discuss about the new topic called flow chart what do you mean by flow chart the algorithm and flow chart are two types of tools to explain the process of a program right so algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve a particular problem especially in computer programming an algorithm is a step by step analysis of the process while a flow chart explains the step of a program in a graphical way so a flow chart is a graphical or pictorial representation of an algorithm with the help of different symbols shapes and arrows to demonstrate process of a program with algorithms we can easily understand a program the main purpose of using flow chart is to analyze different methods several standard symbols are applied in a flow chart clear so flow chart means is a pictorial representation of an algorithm so flow chart can be classified into program flow chart and system flow chart so what is program flow chart program flow chart present a diagrammatic representation of a sequence of instructions for a solving a problem so program flow chart represents a single program program flow chart represents a single program and system flow chart indicate the flow of data throughout a data processing system so system flow chart represents an entire system program flow chart represents a single program and system flow chart represents an entire system so this is a difference between program flow chart and system flow chart so next we have very important question importance of flow chart so first one communication flow chart are better way of communication of the logic of a program with the help of flow chart so easily we can understand the logic of a program and effective analysis so effective analysis specifically shows what type of action each step in a process requires so first one communication and effective analysis next one proper documentation program flow charts serve as a good program documentation which is needed for various programs so in proper documentation digital flow charts serve as a good paperless documentation which is needed for various purpose and making things more efficient clear so proper documentation communication and effective analysis these are the importance of flow chart and efficient coding flow chart use simple geometric shapes to depict process and arrows to shows relationships and process data flow clear so is a efficient coding technique the flow chart acts as a guide or blueprint during the system analysis and program development phase so during the system analysis and program development phase using this flow chart so easily we can recognize the code of the program so next importance is proper debugging 
Debugging means to run your code step by step in a debugging tool like Visual Studio to find the exact point where you made a programming mistake. So you then understand what corrections you need to make in your code and debugging tools often allow you to make temporary changes. You can continue running the program. So debugging means you can identify the errors in proper debugging process. So last one is efficient program maintenance. The maintenance of a program become easy with help of flowcharts. So maintenance is very easy with the help of this flowcharts. So what are the importance of flowcharts? So first one communication, effective analysis, proper documentation and efficient coding proper debugging and efficient program and maintenance. Very important concept. And next concept is symbols used in flowcharts. So what are the symbols we can use while designing the flowcharts? So first symbol is oval. Terminal means if you want to start a program or end of the program, so you can use this oval. Start or end. This is a symbol for starting of the program. So next is parallelogram for representing the input or output data. For representing the input or output data or information, we can use this parallelogram symbol. Clear? So first we have start that is oval shape start or end of the program and for input and output data we can use this parallelogram symbol. So next important is processing. This is a symbol for representing the process of the program. This process indicates, this symbol indicates process like mathematical operation. So if you want to if you want to assign any mathematical logic or mathematical operation, you can use this symbol, rectangle. And next one we have preparation or looping. So what is this looping? Looping means cycle, right? So here an instruction or group of instructions which changes the program. So here this symbol preparation represents an instruction or group of instruction which changes the program. Clear? So these are the basic symbols in flowchart. So first one terminal input or output processing and preparation or looping. And next important symbol is decision or branching. So decision or branching represents a comparison question or decision that determinates alternative paths to be followed. This symbol stands for decision statements in a program where answer is usually yes or no. So for representing the answer for yes or no or true or false, so you can use this decision symbol. And next one we have predefined process. So it is double rectangle. Clear? This is called as predefined process. It represents a group of operation not detailed in the particular set of flowcharts. So it can represent a group of operation in a flowchart. And next one we have connector. This circle represents connector an entry form or an exit to the another part of the program flowchart. We can use this connector symbol. So it represents an entry form or exit to the another part of the program, another part of the program flowchart. And next one we have arrows, flow direction. It represents the direction, the direction of the processing or data flow. For representing the direction of processing, we can use this direction arrows. Clear? So these are the basic symbols in flowcharts. Clear? So let us understand about the flowchart examples. So here you have an example flowchart and algorithm. Write a program, design a flowchart and an algorithm to find the larger of two numbers. Larger of two numbers means 
So your input is A and B. Clear? So larger of two numbers. So here first step is this is an algorithm and this is a flow chart. So how to write an algorithm? Step one is start. Start of the program and step two read input values that is A and B. This is your larger of two numbers I will give. So this is your input values that is input A and B. So next step if A is greater than B example A is equal to 3 B is equal to 2. If A is greater than B so A means it is 3 is greater than 2 so it is A is greater than B then output is A. So large is equal to A or else output is B. Clear? If A is greater than B means if A value is greater than B value then large is equal to A or else output is B. And end of the loop and step 4 is stop. Exit of this program. And step 4 is end of the program. So here you need to read the input values first and the logic of the program if A is greater than and step 3 is logic of the program if A is greater than B then output is A or else output is B. End of the program that is stop. So this is an algorithm for larger of two numbers. So how to write the flowchart for this algorithm. So here start of the program you can represent inside a oval shape and this is input values A and B. So here decision or branching. So inside this decision you can write the logic is A is greater than B. If it is true output is A. Print output A. If it is false print output B. So here I have written the logic if A is greater than B then True. If it is true means output is printing it is A. If it is false the output is B. Then end of the program. So you have to mention the flow of data. Don't forget to mention the flow of data. So this is one simple flow chart. So largest of two number. This is an algorithm and this is one example for flow chart. And next we have write a program, design a flowchart and an algorithm to find the given number is odd or even. So how to find the given number is odd or even. So this is an algorithm. So first step is start and input number. Step 2 is number. Step 3 the logic is if number divided by 2 is not equal to 0. If the reminder is not and 0 then output is odd. If the number is divided by 2. If the number is divided by 2 means example 4, 6, 8. So we can divide it by 2. The reminder is 0 right. So this is called as even number. Or if the number is divided by 2, the reminder is 0 means the number is even. Or else number is divided by 2 is not equal to 0 means then output is odd. Or else output is even. This is the logic of this program. If the number is divided by 2 and the reminder will be 0 means it is even number. Or else it is output is even. And end of the loop and stop or is stop. So how to write the flowchart for this? First step is start in oval and input is number. So in branching or decision we can write the logic of this program. Number is divided by 2 is not equal to 0 means if it is true statement is true means output is odd or else if it is false the output is even and end of the program. So you have to mention the direction of the flow of data. So this is an example for algorithm and flow chart. 
So flowchart and algorithm means is a step by step procedure to solve a given problem and flowchart means is a pictorial representation of an algorithm. So by looking at this algorithm so easily you can design the flowchart. Clear? It is very simple to design an algorithm and flowchart. And next we have advantages of flowchart. So flowchart provide an excellent means of communication which is very easy to understand. This is one important advantage of flowchart and it has got a definite procedure which shows all the major parts of a program. It is easy to convert into a program. After designing the flowchart, it is very easy to convert it into a program and it is independent of programming language. So it is not dependent, it is independent of programming language. It is easy to debug as every step has got its own logical sequence. So, so in flowchart, we can easily identify the debug error of the program. So these are the importance of flowcharts. And what are the disadvantages of flowcharts? It is time consuming and it requires the uses of a number of symbols which are to be properly represented. So in algorithm, so easily we can write the step 1, step 2, step 3, etc. But in flowchart, we have to use the symbols and flow of data and many symbols we have to use properly. So it is a time consuming and requires the uses of a number of symbols. So the complex logic is difficult to represent in a flowchart. So this is a main disadvantages of flowchart. So complex calculation is very difficult. Complex logic is very difficult in flowchart. And alterations and modifications can be only made by redrawing the flowchart. So if you want to alter the flowcharts or redrawing the flowcharts, once you finish the flowchart, then only you can identify the error of this flowchart. So these are the disadvantages of flowchart. So flowchart means is a pictorial representation of an algorithm. Once you design the algorithm, so easily you can draw a flowchart. So it is a pictorial representation of an algorithm. So this is called as flowchart. So this is about the flowchart. Flowchart definition and symbols and advantages and disadvantages. Very important concept. In my next session, I will come with a new concept. Thank you.